can see it's created the vault here. It copy just copy the receiver, the sender um, object to the receiver. So that's the uh, first um, scenario here. Okay, um, now for the topic number two, and then I would like to showing you um, how can we um, make additional call um, inside the processing because the processing here we do nothing even the XML transformation we do nothing and then maybe for some scenario um, 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 the customer uh, would like to um, maybe every every midnight would like to call we like to would like to make an RFC call to the business suite to be um, SAP ERP or SAP CRM to retrieve a list of a sales order or sales opportunity and then an outbound and then um, synchronize to business one system or even to the file system as well as well here for our, for our simple demonstration I still output to the um, file system of course you can output to the XML uh, one your own requirement here so I just would like to show you for the next I would like to show you how can we make additional call to IFC a call here okay specifically I would like to make an IFC call um, to my um, SAP um, to my SAP um, ERP system and then here's the BAPI call here um, um, I'm going to get a sales order list here and then for the inbound parameter I need to um, specify something like this to prepare something like this and this is the request here and okay now I would like to um, make an additional call so I need to go back to my designer there so um, in the integration process flow here I need to make one more step here so I just need to click stop uh, click modify here and you would like to modify um, here so by default this is the final step and then I would like to make one more call so I just click um, the triangle icon here and as you can see we can make a lot of call uh, for me I can I would like to make um, just a very simple um, single call very single call here and then even we can have single call in, in a single call we can have a lot of choice just click add button here okay as a result we have one more single call here and then the status is is red because we haven't specified the um, TTL information for the single call here so um, for the single call I would like to say is call um, IFC um, to get sales order list okay for my system ID here uh, before we going for war um, before we going forward uh, for the for the scenario here uh, we need to um, define the system to mapping my physical um, to make a uh, physical um, system B1I system um, to represent my SAP EIP system so I need to go into the um, my system landscape once again and by the way and I already make make that and then um, you can choosing to create a system um, actually you need to create a system and just choosing the ECC 60.0 it doesn't matter because we would like to make an RFC um, system uh, connectivity here just choosing this one and then giving it the name for me I'm using the my system here it's free okay and then you just need to specify the um, your application server of course you need you know you need to know how to get the application server for me I just uh, get my application server from here and then your username and your my clan and uh, this is the clan and username password and English and then maybe some people was would like to know how can I get a gateway a host uh, simple as well uh, you just need to uh, type the T code um, SWG SMGW this means SMGW to get in the um, the gateway information okay as you can see I have my gateway um, just put the um,
and then you can have the information here the gateway um, system here and uh, the technical name um, you used to be the gateway host um, and then put the host here and then gateway system number this is the gateway system number here this is the gateway um, host name here this is the full name I put the full name here uh, for the sender um, RFCA um, call um, is the connectivity we are going to uh, we are going to uh, call um, um, SAP um, 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 ERP in active weed we would like to call and then the sender um, is from a B1ISM B1ISM make the IFC call to um, to SAP ERP in an active way so we need to uh, also um, we need to to have some system configuration um, in the SAP ERP to create a system landscape this logical system to represent my B1I system here my B1I system here so I already do that as well for the receiver the receiver of course the receiver is my SAP ERP system for me it's each free and my clan this already I already I make this um, logical system um, in the SAP ERP as well so for further information how to config um, the SAP ERP part you are recommend to have a look at the um, the installation CD and then you're going to content and then and documentation and then there was a, a guide um, config a guide about the um, system landscape uh, in, uh, briefly um, you can have a look at the how to uh, create the landscape um, configure in the SAP ERP uh, to define your SAP ERP there just the one there um, and briefly you need to define your the logical system the first step uh, would be to define the uh, logical system and then create the IFC des destination okay you need to do two things um, you need to uh, create um, the logic, logic, logical system and IFC destination to represent the B1I um, SM system as well and then that's I what I've done I already um, followed and then the first one is to I'm not going to too much detail here just quick give you an, a quick overview here the first one the T code sale is to define the the logical system um, in the basic setting and the logical system and just define the uh, logical system to represent I already defined the one um, B1 uh, clan that's the one to represent my B1 I um, it might be one eye system might be one eye system here and then secondly after you define the logical system um, you need to define the RFC destination and RFC destination uh, the decode is the uh, SM59 and then I you just need to create a new one here and then choosing the uh, the type I already created my this best specify the physical uh, technical connection uh, to my system there and then just choosing the registered um, server program and the program ID and this will be using um, for RFCP there and then the Unicode I'm using the Unicode here so nothing special here just choosing the um, connection type as this VIP here okay and then for uh, for the uh, for the other um, um, also the for my landscape um, here uh, for the receiver because my receiver is SAP ERP uh, the port the receiver port just giving the uh, naming convention here is the SAP and then your system um, name here my system name here this is my clan 100 here so that's the um, connection okay and for the program ID just union program ID just remember in the um, in the IFC destination there um, in IFC destination just make the same and then ICP uh, would be uh, called in a passive passive way not this one will be in an active way so after we um, we have done the configuration for the connection